Hi, welcome back to my channel. For work I will use 1.4 mm and a ball of 100% mercerized cotton yarn. You will see how to crochet simple trim pattern. Please join me and let's get started. Let's crochet the trim. For example, I have done a row of double crochet stitches. In your case it could be any kind of pattern. My trim consists of 10 stitches and has one row. If you would like to make this trim in a round, you should make the foundation chain multiples of 10 plus one stitch. Make a chain, turn the work, work into the first stitch, make single crochet, then chain, yarn over the hook five times, three, four, five. I hold all loops with my finger, continue, I skip one, two, three, four, Insert the hook into the fifth stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two loops, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then chain of three for the pico, one, two, three. Work with a slip stitch into two loops of the tall stitch. My pico is ready. I remind you, my trim consists of 10 stitches. Make a chain. Yarn over the hook three times. I hold the loops with my finger. Insert the hook into the second pair of horizontal strands. I count from the bottom. Insert the hook into two loops, pull up a loop, pull through two loops, four times. Then chain of three for the pico work with the slip stitch into two loops of the tall stitch. And then make a chain, yarn over the hook, I insert the hook into the First pair of horizontal strands, I count from the bottom, make double treble crochet stitch, then chain of three for the pico and work with the slip stitch, then chain, yarn over the hook twice, insert the hook into the first pair of horizontal strands, I count from the bottom. This is the first pair of horizontal strands in the previous stitch. Pull up a loop, pull through two loops one, two, and three. Then chain of three for the pico and work with the slip stitch into two loops of the treble crochet. Then make a chain, yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the First pair of horizontal strands, make double crochet, make a chain of three for the peak of work with a slip stitch into the loops of the double crochet. My half of the complex stitch is ready. Let's look what I have done. It consists of five stitches. I continue working on the second side. Make a chain, yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the same pair, make double crochet, then chain of three for the pico, work with a slip stitch, then make a chain, then make treble crochet into the same pair. Then chain of three for the pico, work with a slip stitch into two loops of the treble crochet. 
Make treble crochet into the same pair of horizontal strands. Here what I have. Then chain of 3 for the pico. And to work with a slip stitch into two loops of the tall stitch, then make a chain. Yarn over the hook three times, insert the hook into the pair of horizontal strands that I worked before. Make double treble, then chain of three for the pico, work with a slip stitch into two loops of the treble crochet. Make a slip stitch into two loops of the tall stitch. I skip from this stitch one, two, three, four, insert the hook into the fifth stitch, make single crochet. Let's stop and look what I have done. My first stream is ready, here how it looks. I remind you my complex stitch based on the stitches. Let's repeat one more time. I remind you, my trim consists of 10 stitches. Make a chain, yarn over the hook 5 times, 3, 4, 5, I skip 1, 2, 3, 4, insert the hook into the 5th stitch, pull up a loop, pull through 2 loops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then chain of 3 for the pico and work with a slip stitch. Chain, yarn over the hook 3 times. Insert the hook into the second pair of horizontal strands. Pull up a loop, pull through 2 loops, 1, 2, 3 and 4 times. And pico. Make a chain, yarn over the hook to the times, insert the hook into the first pair, pull up a loop, pull through two loops, one, two, three, and four, and pico. Chain of three for the pico and work with a slip stitch. Make a chain. Yarn over the hook twice, insert the hook into the first pair of horizontal strands, pull up a loop, pull through two loops, three times, then pico. Make a chain, yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the first pair of horizontal strands, pull up a loop, Pull through two loops twice. Then chain of three for the pico and to work with a slip stitch. Then make a chain, then double crochet into the pair. The half of the complex stitch is ready. Let's crochet the second side. Make double crochet into the same pair, then chain of three for the pico and work with a slip stitch into the loops, the double crochet, then chain, then treble crochet into the pair of horizontal strands, then chain of three for the pico and work with a slip stitch, then chain, then treble crochet. Then pico, chain and double treble crochet stitch into the pair of horizontal strands and pico. Make a chain. I skip one. 
one, two, three, four. Insert the hook into the fifth stitch. Make single crochet. My second stitch is ready. Here how it looks. Here what I have. I remind you my complex stitch based on 10 stitches. Keep working in this way till the end of this round. Then I will show you how to complete it. If you work in rounds, you should add one stitch. I remind you I am done the first round of double crochet stitches. In your case, it could be your main pattern. Continue working with your own. Once I have done the last complex stitch, now I show you how to complete it. Insert the hook into the chain stitch. It was chains to bring up the yarn. Make single crochet. To secure the yarn by making a chain. So my row is ready. Here how it looks when you are done. So that's it. My trim is ready. I remind you, my complex stitch or trim consists of one row and has 10 stitches. This is the complex stitch that consists of two halves. Each complex stitch include different tall stitches, such as double crochet, treble crochet, double treble crochet stitches. You can use such kind of trims to create your own personal project. I remind you my complex stitch based on 10 stitches. If you would like to crochet in round, you should add one stitch for more beautiful look. For this project, you just need to know how to crochet different tall stitches. All additional information about the tools could be found in the description of each video tutorial. For this project, you just need to get a ball of yarn and a crochet hook. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time and good luck in crocheting. Bye.